Hello people and welcome to day two of uh, this social experiment I'm doing. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the beginning and uh, the beginning of, I think, of everything. So I think we need to start off with the beginning of my life. Um, so I was born uh, as Robert Peter Barrett the 18th of January 1992 and I was born in Cambridge in the United Kingdom from Angela from Arola, who is, uh, was an Italian mum, and uh, Nicola, our Nicholas Barrett, who was my dad, a uh, British dad. So I was the son of an Italian girl and my dad, who was English. Um, I think they met when my mum my was basically here. She did languages in university. So she came over to Britain in order to um, study for her thesis. And while she was here, um, I think the story goes that she basically didn't have a place to stay at one point. So she was working as a janitor in a school. And in that school, my dad was actually working as a teacher, as an English teacher. So because my mum didn't have a place to stay and her and some of her friends didn't have a place to stay, my dad decided to take them on, him and his friends. So they went over to my dad's house and they lived there for a bit. And I don't think my mum got together with my dad at that point, but that's pretty much where it all started, really. Um, so I was born in Cambridge, as I said, um, in the United Kingdom. Um, but I've, I identify myself as half Italian, half British, because I lived most of my life in Italy. We'll get to that later, though. So um, when I was born, um, I don't know really, like I don't have many memories from that time and also I don't really know much about what happened when I was like a, uh, a young, young kid. But um, I know that my first, okay let's go this, my first memory is probably playing with my mum. Uh, I remember playing toys with my mum but it must have been very, very small, it must have been about three or four. Uh, I remember just reading books and playing toys with my mother which was really nice. But um, when I was four... Uh, I, my parents divorced, so I moved to Italy with my mother, leaving Cambridge, um, and my dad. But we saw my dad quite often, me and my brother saw my dad quite often, so uh, that's good, that's really positive and happy. Um, but I think, I don't want to go too forward for now, this is literally the beginning. So um, when I was a kid, uh, apparently I was a, I was a terrible kid. Um, my mother said that my brother was the nice and calm one, but I was an utter pest and I would run around the house and cause messes. And I was very good at climbing uh, up doors. So if there was a handle on the door, I could climb up, open the handle and try to run away. <laughs> I don't know exactly why I would do that, but, you know, I was quite an adventurous young scamp, I think, is the, is the way to put it. Um, yeah, which is sort of like... I, from what I from what I've heard, like I used to cry a lot. That's one thing that I know. Uh, my grandmother says that she has a special power with me. That the first time she had me on her own, um, I was crying a lot, and it was some kind of big event. And, and my grandma looked at me and went, "Oh, Rob, me and you're gonna get along just fine, but you need to shut up now." And I shut up. So, I think. Yeah, I think in the beginning it all was a bit chaotic and and I was definitely a, a very active baby and that's probably still applicable. I mean, I still see myself as a very active person, probably quite a chaotic person right now. So if, if um, your child has anything to go by, I think that's why I'm probably like this right now. As I said... I lived in Britain for four years and then uh, I moved to Italy. At that point I was already bilingual um, because my mother used to speak to me in Italian while my dad used to speak to me in English. So I was able to speak both languages. My brother on the other hand was born when I was three, so he was one at the time. So he was, um, he could only speak uh, Italian. I think the first language he learned was Italian and then he picked up English later on and he's perfectly bilingual now as well. But uh, it took some time. But yeah, when I was four, I moved with my mum to Italy. And uh, I then spent 14 years there, pretty much. Uh, I just was there for a long, long time. Um, I did all my schools in Italy. Um, stayed there for 
Yeah, it was it was good. I think I quite like my childhood. My childhood was very positive. Um, my brother has a different opinion on the matter, but um, I think that it was a it was a good a good good growing up. And then when I was eighteen, I moved back to uh, to Britain here, did my university here, and I'm again in Cambridge. So full circle, which is quite interesting in a way. But yeah, so I just wanted to talk to you about like me being a, a baby because that's where it all began. So if I wasn't a baby, I wouldn't be here now. That was just the most random phrase I ever said. But yeah, so um, yeah, so this is the, the beginning of me. Um, and tomorrow I'm hoping to do possibly a bit more of the beginning of me, maybe go a bit further from four years old onwards. And uh, we shall see how that goes. Just keep following, subscribe, like, comment, uh, put anything you want, share, I don't know, all the things you do, uh, Twitter, Facebook, all things people do. Uh, and uh, I'll be seeing you tomorrow then. Bye-bye.